YouTube, Sandy Frank here. Today's episode of Hobby Talk. I want to talk about something positive that Tops is doing that's really cool. Is um, I mean that we definitely had some issues with Tops this year for sure. But here's something that they're actually doing that's good, and it is called the MVP Buyback Program. And this is something that if you guys haven't heard of, definitely um, you're going to want to watch the video and and find out about it because it's something really cool so <clears throat> I think they're doing this kind of as a uh, some customer service um, because we all know tops chrome was a uh, 2022 tops chrome was a real big mess kind of like a disaster and um, they didn't put the short prints in they had to make silver packs and it was just a mess so they are actually doing something kind of trying to help build goodwill and it's called the MVP buyback program and so here's how it works so starting now all the way until the end of May if you have any Aaron Judges or Paul Goldschmidt's Aaron Judge of course was the American League MVP and Goldschmidt was the National League MVP if you have any of their 2022 Topps Chrome cards, you can take them to your local hobby shop or um, um, you, there's other ways to, to go about it. But the main way is to take it to your local hobby shop and you can exchange them for in-store credit, which is pretty awesome. So like I looked through all my Topps Chrome and I did not have any just regular um, Aaron Judges or Goldschmidt's. I did have a couple that I had from Logo Fractor set. You can use um, the Aaron Judge from Topps Chrome Base. Just a regular base card, you can get $20 store credit. If you have a refractor, you can get $40 store credit. If you have a numbered card, like this is a numbered card here, um, and this works for regular Topps Chrome. And also for um, Topps Chrome Logo Fractor and also the upcoming um, Sonic Edition. So if you have a numbered version that's numbered over 100, like this one's numbered out 199, you get $100 uh, store credit for this card. And if it's numbered less than 100, then you get $200 store credit. So pretty awesome. And because, I mean, this is a cool card and all, but pretty surprising that I can take this card and get $100 of store credit. And um, like the Logo Fractor, it's considered a refractor, so I could take this to the uh, local hobby shop and get $40. So the, I'm looking at $140 store credit I could get for just these two cards. And unfortunately, I didn't get any of the just regular base ones. Those are worth $20 store credit each. So... I mean, excellent deal. Now, I did notice that, like, this type of insert, like, I love this insert, the Heart of the City, Aaron Judge. This is not included in the program. It's just the uh, the regular cards, not inserts. It does include, like, short print variations and stuff like that, um, if you were lucky enough to hand you those. But I think it's a great deal. And... Um, I'll put these up back here. A great deal, and you can get some cool stuff. Now, you might wonder. Let me zoom in on them. So you might be asking yourself, so what if my local hobby shop won't do it? Why? What if I bring my Aaron Judges and Paul Goldsmiths into the local hobby shop and they won't take them? Um, what then? Or what if I don't even have a, a local hobby shop to uh, go um, buy cards from? Well, I'm going to put a link down in the description of the video. Um, there's actually a program that we can use um, with Blowout Cards or Dave and Adam's Card World where you can send the cards to them. There's actually a form you can fill out that's going to be in that link. And... Um, you can um, get your, get credit from from those companies, and they're online major card um, sellers. 
that will ship to anywhere in the U.S. I and mean, they probably ship to other places too, but I, I know they ship in the U.S. So that's pretty awesome. And plus, I'm gonna be honest with you, they have better deals probably at um, Blowout Cards and Dave and Adams than you can probably get at your local hobby shop. So if I was gonna do it, I would probably use them. But it's good to support your local hobby shop too. So anyway. So we actually have a positive episode of uh, Hobby Talk this week. So pretty fun. I hope they keep doing this um, and not just this year because of Topps Chrome being kind of a mess. I hope they keep doing it. That's pretty neat. Um, kind of gives you uh, a reason to collect like players are having a real good year. I mean, if they, if they do this again next year, uh, there's probably going to be speculation if a guy's having a good year that their base cards might be worth a little bit of something. And um, that could open a really cool um, a really cool uh, new aspect of collecting cards next year. Especially with Topps Chrome because that's what the product that they're doing it with. So I'm not saying they're going to do it again next year. I'm just saying it'd be cool if they did. And since this goes all the way till the end of March... Um, if you find some Topps Chrome, um, just some bolt cards or something at your local hobby shop, go look through them. You know, maybe there'll be an Aaron Judge or Goldschmidt in there. And of course, um, that's store credit. Um, also, um, I've been hearing that people are actually buying up like the blaster boxes and stuff from like uh, retail places. So this has definitely worked for Tops, where they, I think they were kind of getting worried that people were not going to be buying uh, much of the uh, the stuff because of all the problems with Tops Chrome not having the short prints. I definitely bought very little of it. Uh, I'm not going to rush out and go buy a bunch of blasters now, but you know, if I find some at a really good deal. I mean, this is an added incentive to possibly buy some and rip it. You know, the fact that you, there's two base cards you can get store credit for. That if you get one of them, it basically would pay for a blaster. So, definitely check that out, guys. Um, I, I hope uh, that you guys didn't just throw away all your Tops Chrome. Hopefully, you still have your base cards and um, can look through them. And find out if you have these cards. Another another thing that's interesting is Tops says they have something exciting in store for these cards that people send in. I have no idea what that would be. Um, maybe they'll re-release them with a special stamp on them. Or maybe have them get signed or something as inserts. Who knows. But they said they have something really exciting planned for all the cards that get sent in. And believe me, they're going to get a ton of these sent back into them. For store credit and um that's another thing i want to talk about oh yeah it'll be interesting to see what, what happens with these cards um going forward because there's not going to be a lot of them out there once word gets out that um you can trade them in for store credit so will that cause the value of these cards to go up there has to be because they're going to be much higher in demand now because um at least until the end of march you know, and also what will happen after March? Will these cards still be kind of scarce because people traded them in for store credit? It might be, I mean, I, I hate to say to keep a couple of them, but maybe if you have a ton of them, maybe keep a couple of them and just see what happens with the, the prices of these. I mean, we know not every single one of them is going to get sent in for store credit, but these cards are going to be more scarce than the other um, cards from those sets because of this program but anyway this is hobby talk so guys put down in the comments what do you guys think of this program um are you going to um, look through your tops chrome or did you even buy any tops chrome will this cause you to buy buy tops chrome knowing you can find um some basically bounty cards in your sets and what do you think? Should Tops do this again in the future? I think they should. Sounds like a really fun thing to do. And it really only benefits everybody. Um, it benefits Tops because they sell more of their products. It benefits the 
local hobby shops because people are um, getting store credit and buying their products at the local stores. Um, it benefits collectors like us that, hey, we have some cards that really weren't worth a lot and now all of a sudden they're worth something. So a pretty cool idea. And um, I give props to whoever came up with this. Pretty fun and uh, everybody wins type situation. And if it's really successful, you bet you better believe they're going to try something else like this someday. Especially, I would think, with, with products that maybe didn't catch on real big with collectors. This would be like something to kind of kickstart those products. Anyway, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Later.